Hello and welcome to Macau in Transition, the last episode of our special program celebrating 20th anniversary of Macau's return to China. I'm Tian Wei. After the celebration of the 20th anniversary, many are fascinated by the future blueprint of Macau. But also there's the question, where is going to be the younger generation of Macau? After talking to young people from different walks of life here in the city, we're bringing to you our final episode, which is a wrap-up of interviews with young people here in Macau. First, let's meet Huang Yufei, a third-generation restaurant owner here in Macau. After studying in the United States, he decided to come back to his hometown and shoulder the responsibility of his family business, which is a well-known noodle shop here in the city. Let's hear from him as to how he is planning for his family business and how is he going to show his signature, the younger generation signature, for the family business. Wang Chiki Noodle Shop, one with the longest history here in Macau and certainly with the best noodle. I'm going to meet the third generation owner of the shop, Fei. Hi, Fei. Hi. Good, hi. good to see you. Nice finally. to see you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. I'm looking forward to this moment yeah, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, Do thank you. Want you. Me to see the noodle shop yeah, yeah, and sure. also me around? Yeah, yeah, okay. sure, sure. So let's go. This way, yeah. It's been a long time and looking forward to this moment because I really want to taste the best noodle thank you, thank Macau you, thank could you, offer. Thank you. So tell me about your family business. My grandfather started this uh, noodle business back in 1946. Uh, he learned the, uh, the uh, bamboo uh, noodle skills in uh, Dongguan uh, back in 1945. And then, in uh, Guangdong province? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's his home, hometown. I so. In 1946, he uh, had uh, his first uh, noodle shop in uh, Dongguan. Wow. And then 1951, he moved his business to Guangzhou. Later on, uh, he moved his business uh, to Macau in 1959. Yeah. All the important years are remembered yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very good at numbers. <laughs> From grandpa to the father and now you. Yeah. So how the business has been changing? Uh, after my grandfather passed away when I was eight, my father take ov took over the uh, business. That's the time when uh, Macau handed over back to China. So uh, he thought this was the very best opportunity. And then uh, he opened another shop in a very famous uh, tourist uh, location in Macau, which is Yisu Tin Chen Di. He built a, a very colorful, that's uh, how the brand is, uh, is built. Yeah. So later on, uh, like uh, after like 20 years, I think uh, I, can, I could help him a bit. So mm -hmm. I come back to uh, his business like five years ago. So but that's not easy for you. I mean, you were a finance major. Yeah. Getting yourself involved mm. in family business mm. is not an easy job. I think the hardest, the hardest part is uh, how, how can I get along with my dad? <laughs> because he is really a kind of very old fashioned people. Dad is watching. Yeah, <laughs> he, he doesn't use any phones. Uh, he smartphone. Doesn't? Oh, really? Yeah, he writes letter to me, uh, and uh, he wants me to physically here to talk to him like every every single day to report my my business to him. Oh so, my uh, God! I, it it's, it's like uh, it took me like uh, three to four years to get along with my dad. That's the uh, hardest part. Yeah. How? What is the trick, or what is the moment? Um, what is the moment? I cry because, yeah, we had a very very big fight in a, in 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 at our home, and then I cried, and then I get I got out from our room from our home, and then uh, he wrote me a letter. He said, "Oh, if this uh, continues, our relationship will be uh, a serious matter." So uh, after that, I realized that 
my my dad really really loves me, and uh, I wanna I wanna find some way to communicate better with him. So mm -hmm. that's how we we start getting better. Yeah. What is the best way you have found to communicate with him? No, he just want me to physically be here. there. <laughs> yeah, I, I just be there. I just talk to him. Uh, I just find a chance to talk to him. Yeah, yeah physically be there, and then. Uh, yeah, he, he, he doesn't like any text messages, he doesn't like any, <laughs> any other, other way to find him, he just want to face to face talk to him. Your father is a historian, in yeah. fact he's been writing a lot of books about yeah. China, Japan, yeah. you know, the two of you, mm -hmm. the next and the, the one after the next generation, mm -hmm. are trying your best in order to carry on with this family business. Yeah, now our brain is like 73 years old, how can I carry this? Uh, noodle shop or this noodle brand to another 70 years or even more, 100 years. That's my job, I think. As small as a bowl of noodle, there's a lot of things behind it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I'm looking forward to that noodle, by the way. Right. <laughs> wow, you got the weapons yeah. over there. <laughs> now it's easier. It's actually very interesting. It really tastes like rubber band, but much chewier mm. and really tasty. Mm. It's almost like a game you play with the noodles, yeah. in a way. I love this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Have you ever jumped on that uh, bamboo, bamboo stick? Bamboo? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, I first learned the uh, bamboo stick noodles in, uh, when I was 15, because you have to toy enough. You have to have it's enough, enough. Be strong enough to uh, put your weight on mm -hmm. the bamboo. Yeah. So, um, yeah. If I have a son, I, I will tell him when you are when you are 15, you have to learn the bamboo stick. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm still working on it. I don't Come have any. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People talk about uh, you know the future of Macau, mm. particularly the diversification of its economy, mm. uh, which tourism might be mm. even more mm. important than what it is today. Mm. Do you think the catering industry is ready for that? I, I can say that we, we have been really, really uh, be ready for 20 years. But then uh, the world is changing, the China market is changing. Mm. We have to do something to fit for that change. In Macau, there are many, many uh, food souvenirs like uh, almond cookies, yes. like uh, beef jerky, yes, and the rice roll. I, 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 I was thinking, why we can't have a, a dry noodles as a souvenir for our tourists? So uh, yeah, that's what we do. We have our first uh, dry noodles souvenir back in 2016. Yeah. Mm. That's how we, we change ourselves to a more up-to-date model now. So. Sounds like a great plan. Yeah. Happy noodle. Happy noodle. <laughs>